Oh really, this is caused by something, and I know a lot of you probably know what it is. If you said sunlight or low E glass was the cause of that melted vinyl siding, you would be correct. But let's dive a little deeper as to why that even happens. Three things need to line up perfectly for your neighbor's house to melt your house. First, your neighbor has to have low E glass in their windows. Second, they have to be on the southern facing side of the house, uh, if you live in the northern hemisphere, at least. And thirdly, your house has to be exactly the right distance away from your neighbor's house uh, for this to happen. Okay, so why? Low E glass is really great at reflecting sunlight. That's why we use it, because it keeps the internal temperatures of your house from elevating when it's sunny out. Low E glass also becomes concave when barometric pressure of your environment increases. Concave is much like pressing your palm against the glass of your window. It causes it to bow. What that concavity does is it focuses the solar reflection to a tighter beam. Much like trying to roast ants with a magnifying glass. You know you did it when you were little. Come on. So you put all that together, and in the perfect scenario, your neighbor's house is shooting photon torpedoes at your house. It really screwing up your vinyl siding. So what do you do in this situation? It's easy. They make a glare reducing window tint that you can ask your neighbor to apply to their windows so they stop screwing up your house. Or you grab a rock and huck it as hard as you can. Just kidding. Don't do that last one. Or lastly, you can choose to live in a house that doesn't have your neighbor's house so stinging close to your house. Hope you guys learned something today. Come on, like and subscribe. You know it was great.